This is Twit. Hey guys, I'm Shannon Morse, the producer of Before You Buy, and today I have a roundup of speakers because we love those here. So first off, I have the Kinevo ZX100 mini speaker, which costs a total of $18.99, a whole $19. I know, that's so expensive, right? This thing is small, it's portable, and it weighs practically nothing. You can stick this in your back pocket and run around with it. So, it has very, very clear vocals, and unfortunately, even though they have this built-in resonator that's supposed to kick out and give you more low bass whenever you have it sitting on a table, really honestly does not give you that much bass. And it also gets very loud, so if you're listening to podcasts and you run downstairs in your kitchen or something, you can still hear this going off. Now another thing to think about whenever you're considering buying a super, super cheap speaker is this one is not Bluetooth. It is only attached via the, via the 3.5 millimeter jack. Although one cool thing you can do with this is you can daisy chain it. So if you want to get, say, four of these and put them all together, you can definitely do that if you want. Now it only gets six hours of battery life as well. That's a little low on the low end for me. Now the pros on this guy, it is compact. It's got a really cool design. I like that it pops out with the resonator, which does help a little bit with the bass, but still very, very bad. And it is low cost at only 20 bucks or less. On the con side, no Bluetooth and practically no bass. So even though it's only 20 bucks, I would have to give this a don't buy. Now onto the second one, which is from Dream Cheeky. This is called the Cube. So this one costs $34.99, so it's a little bit more expensive, but I gotta say, it's a really cool design, don't you think? This thing comes in a variety of colors. You can get pink, white, black, and red, I believe, off of the Dream Cheeky website. And the playback time is only five hours, so very, very low. Honestly, I would probably plug this in and just leave it in my household. Although this one is Bluetooth, so we're lucky about that, and it does have a speakerphone built in, so if you want to make calls, you can do that directly through here. And it has all those different colors available, so it is a very, very fun speaker. Now, as far as the playback goes, uh, it does have a lot more bass than the Kinevo one does. It is very clear, but unfortunately, when I turned it up really loud, I could hear a little bit of static in the background of my songs and even my podcasts. So the pros and cons in this one, pros, it is a very cool design, but on the cons, it is staticky and it's got a low playtime. Yeah, don't buy. So our next one is Braven, the Braven 710. We all love Braven around here. They pretty much always get buys. This one costs $169.99, so it is on the higher end of portable Bluetooth speakers. We reviewed a few with Brian the other week, and this one's definitely up there as well. But with that price also comes a lot of really cool features, aka it has NFC available on it, so you can tap your phone and start playing through NFC. It also has Bluetooth and a speakerphone, so lots of really cool compatibility choices for you if you want those options with your phone. It also has 12 hours of battery life instead of five or six. That is really awesome and if I, I better put this thing down before I throw this brick at somebody because it's so cool. It's very cool. It's got a very modern design. It has aircraft grade aluminum. It is a little bit heavier so I wouldn't necessarily take it with me everywhere but it is very nice. As far as the sound quality goes, very clear on the vocals with my podcast and as far as listening to really cool bass on Smashing Pumpkins and Shirley Basie. It sounded good. I very much enjoyed it. Now, on the pros and cons of this one, very long playtime. Thank you, Braven. I love you guys. It also has NFC, which is super fun, and I haven't seen that a lot with these speakers, and the sound quality is excellent. On the cons, I'm gonna say none, because it's a good speaker. I like it. Way to go, Braven. And of course, if this one was a buy, try or don't buy, I'd say it's a buy, definitely. Now my last one. This one's a little bit different. It's definitely a little odd, but it's it's really cool. The JBL Pulse. This one costs $199.95, so it is on par with the speakers that Brian had reviewed previously. Um, as far as the sound quality on this one goes, it is definitely very comparable to the Braven. However, I did notice a little bit of a difference with the bass. It sounded a little bit more, more muddy. It didn't sound as clear to me as it did with the Braven speaker. But as far as the JBL goes with clarity, you can get it very, very loud, and podcasts sound beautiful on it. So I was very, very happy with those. The interesting thing about this one it, is it has LEDs built in, which is kind of odd. 
but it adds a little bit of fun whenever you're listening to your music or listening to your podcast. You can actually see when people are speaking and you can see the rhythm of the music. It's not something that we have seen a lot in speakers. In fact, I don't think we've seen that at all with speakers quite yet. Uh, they do have a customizable app for iPhone and I just checked and they have an Android app as well called JBL, which you can download and change different light colors and you can play music directly from those apps. So that's pretty cool as well. And of course, it is Bluetooth. Although I guess I didn't really have to tell you that everything's Bluetooth these days, except for the Kinevo, apparently. Pros, very cool design. Really, really liked it. It has a pretty good battery. I was able to get about seven hours or so of playtime when I have the LEDs on. And the cons, the base is a little bit shallow. It's a little, just a little bit, just a little bit less than the Braven. But overall, I gotta say, it's, it's very fun, it's a really enjoyable experience, and I kind of just wish that they would include better battery life on it, but I'm still gonna give it a buy because it's very fun. So this was my roundup of four very different speakers for every kind of person in the entire world and what have you. I hope you enjoyed it. For more coverage from us, I'm Shannon Morse. You can go over to twit.tv slash BYB. I hope you enjoyed it, bye.